Hey everyone, thanks for joining me tonight on iHardy. Now, if this is your first time to my channel, kindly subscribe and like the video. Now, Apple released iOS 17.3 Beta 2, but it came with some trouble for iPhone developer and public beta testers, and they had to withdraw the update. Apparently, it was an issue that is rumored to have been caused by people that enabled backtap on their iPhones. Yeah, so it caused people that installed 17.3 beta 2 to experience some boot loops. Yeah, it was a very serious issue and Apple had to withdraw the update. So if you go back to like try updating to a beta, all you see is 17.3 beta 1, not 2. Yeah, so it's a good thing Apple withdrew it because I almost installed it, but thankfully I didn't. But this video is all about iOS 17.2.1, the stable release. Yeah, that's right. And how the update has been ever since I installed it and most of us got it some weeks ago. Yeah, let's just say two to three, probably two weeks ago. Now for a while back, I was talking about issues with connectivity and the modem, you know, Wi-Fi, cellular stuff like that. But I uh, 17.2.1, I think it came out on December 21st to be precise. And I reported after then that battery was significantly fixed for most iPhone users. Yeah, I had an iPhone 13 that was on 86% and I was getting a whole day worth of battery when I go out to the office and I use it to play Cod Mobile. Yeah, I did a video I talked about that extensively. And at the same time, I will still implore you that if you are on something like 0 0.0, 0 0.3 or 0.1, something like that, you should update to iOS 17.2.1. Yeah, because there is something different about that update compared to the rest. Now, People in India have reported recently that it seems 17.2.1 might have broken connectivity. I'm not sure of how true that is, but if you have any idea, the viewer, you can tell me in the comment section. Let me get a better idea, but I saw it on the internet and on X, yeah. So, but to me, connectivity is working perfectly. Yeah, I stay outside the US and it works perfectly. Wi-Fi 6 works, uh, 5G, perfect. I get all my bars, I even get better connection and reception than i even expect sometimes yeah but the isonic kick for 17.2.1 is apart from the battery it fixes and connectivity supposed issues there has been quite big speed bumps yeah i mean bumps in the speed of your device because i ran a Geekbench score on my iphone 13 pro max yeah and then i saw 5900 plus for multi core that's kind of normal the regular score is 5000 it does 600 500 that range but i saw 5900 which is very close to the range of let's say an overheating iphone not overheating per se but a warm iphone 14 pro max yeah so i was quite curious and then i made a comment about it on x on x page and people were like yeah it seems most people are getting more than average geekbench six scores on your you know, on their phones, on their iPhones, after this 17.2.1 update. Which is why I'll tell you guys that you should update. Apart from battery faces, they seem to have buffed off performance in this, which is a very good thing. I also get 20,000 plus, I think 21,000 for Metal GPU test. Yeah, that's the GPU part of Geekbench 6. Yeah, and that's very high actually, yeah. It's a 5-core GPU anyways. The regular 13s use 4-core GPUs and so, you know. So like, that's the sky what it just is. So for better performance, graphics performance, you know, and battery upgrade, yeah. The network stuff, I don't really believe that because personally, I've never seen any reason to, you know, talk anything bad about the cellular service or Wi-Fi service or modem. So I guess that the sky sums up everything I came here to give you guys this day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned, there is more where that came from. I had the odds.